Hey everybody, it's Mike uh, with the 74 GMC. Made it back from the rally, for the most part unscathed. I uh, did learn a, a bunch of stuff. Um, what I would tell you is that the Great Lakers is just a great group of people. This is what they gave me to put on the coach so that people would uh, you know, introduce themselves. And I didn't have my credentials yet, but, uh, but everybody was very friendly, very willing to offer help and advice. You know, I had lots of, still have a million questions about these things. And um, everybody was willing to help and, uh, you know, fun to talk to, fun to be around. So what a great, uh, great organization. And I'm going to just put a quick plug in for the GMC Great Lakers. Um, they try to have a rally, I think every month, kind of in the in the summertime. And, uh, you know, it's it just a lot of fun. Uh, Dave Lindsay uh, did a, um, a, a talk, or really a talk and a demonstration on how to align and, uh, you know, get your steering wheel, get your gearbox centered, get everything uh, done suspension-wise. I missed part of it, but... Uh, part of what he had to do but it was very very interesting everybody was great just fun to talk to you know learn the story of their coach and uh, everything else but here is let's see if I get on this good hopefully you can hit the QR code if you want and basically if you live in the Great Lakes region and you're looking for a group of people fun people to do stuff with uh, this is a, a great group so uh, give them a call the other thing that I kind of want to do is I want to I want to thank uh, Troy and Scott and Pete and Tony. So Pete was there with his coach. Um, so I met him, somebody that's watched videos, and uh, and uh, he had messaged me about some parts, about wanting some of the parts. And uh, Scott and and Troy and Tony drove without their coaches. Scott was supposed to be there with his coach, but I got partway there and had a brake problem, had to turn around and go home. So he just came in his car. And uh, Tony came all the way from Canada from quite quite a distance. So I was I was very uh, blessed and, and, and uh, you know, it was very awesome to meet them and talk with them, spend the afternoon with them and, you know, hear their stories and and uh, they, they looked, you know, looked the coach over and kind of got a, you know, first-hand view. They, they all felt they knew the coach from watching uh, the videos. But uh, that, uh, that was, it was just great. Just, just a really fun, uh, I'll say, fellowship to, to sit and talk and, uh, and uh, bounce ideas off one another. Um, I did have one minor incident. So that's one of the handles off of my uh, awning pulled right off. I think it's the one that I bought and riveted on, so maybe I used two shorter rivets or I'm going to have to try to get washers behind there. But it happened as I was putting the awning away uh, Saturday night because it got kind of windy. Let's see, there's a, that's where it goes right there, that hole right there. But other than that, the coach pretty much worked flawlessly with the exception of the cruise control, which, you know, I spent so much time on and I was so angry that it wouldn't work because it was a very long drive and trying to Hold a steady speed was just very difficult for me. Um, I like to be able to rest my leg off to the side. Makes me a lot more comfortable, so that was uh, that was kind of a pain. And then the air conditioner, I mean, it was bloody, blistery hot. And uh, the air conditioner, for the most part, kept us cool. It would freeze up on me. And uh, so... Um, I did get some advice on that and turned the thermostat down a little bit, and I think that seemed to help, but it still took a, the coach kind of warmed up on Saturday, and it was the middle of the night before it got cool inside the coach again. But uh, like I said, I think it is working, but a uh, little bit of you know, a little bit of learning curve. But other than that, everything went fine. You know, no no brake issues, no tire issues, knock on wood, no suspension issues. Uh, the coach ran good. It seemed like it was getting a little hot on the way down, but uh, never got above like 210. So uh, I, I think that's fine. Um, didn't, didn't see effect. I did. I did uh, just uh, for for everybody's benefit. And, I, and mind you, I was hauling a small snowmobile trailer to the event. I didn't haul it home. <laughs> But uh, when I fueled up on the way home, I checked the mileage, and you know I'm assuming that I got it full on the way down. So if if, if I did get it full on the way down, I got seven and a half miles to the gallon with this beast. So I know people report a lot better than that. So 
I might be a little rich. I'm, I, when I take the uh, wheelhouse out probably tomorrow to uh, mess around with the cruise control again, um, I'm going to pull one of the plugs and just see if it looks sooty. If I'm, you know, sometimes I, when it's running, it smells like it's pig rich. So yeah, I, I might need a little more adjustment of the carburetor. Or that might be the uh, impetus to get off my butt and put the, uh, put the uh, fuel injection on it. So, all right, everybody. Uh, like I said, it was a lot of fun. Hope a lot of you, you know, like a lot of people that are watching, maybe you got coaches and, uh, you know, you, you're looking for a place to join, join up with the Great Lakers. It's really inexpensive. Um, it's like $50 for the first year, but that includes, they make you uh, name tags and a plaque for your coach and and things of, of that nature, you know, kind of credential stuff. And then after that, it's only $15 a year. So, I mean, you can't, uh, to me, you can't beat it to be part of an organization with great people and people, you know, I mean, just endless resource of, of information. So, um, again, give them a call, check it out. Hopefully that you can use that QR code uh, off my phone. If not, message me and I'll figure out how to get uh, information to you. Take care. Bye.